On the 2nd of April 2020, a soldier of the Nigerian army was accused of killing a man identified as Joseph Pesu in Wari Delta State. Pesu was said to have gone to buy food for his pregnant wife and reportedly flaunted the enforcement lockdown which led to his death. This resulted in a protest by youth of the area who took to the street to register their displeasure. The soldier who shot the young man to death was said to have reported himself to the A Division police station in Wari where he was detained. Reactions on social media, in the mainstream and from well-meaning Nigerians have trailed the incident and the viral video showing soldiers threatening to molest women in Delta states. Over alleged refusal attack has also gone viral. The Nigerian military had initially explained that the viral video showing men in military uniform brutalizing citizens were not authentic, saying that investigations were ongoing on the killing of the Wari residents. The defense headquarters wishes to once again clarify that the viral videos trending online showing men in uniform are not genuine. The general public should please disregard these videos and consider it as actions of mischief makers who intend to tarnish the good image, integrity and sterling achievements of the armed forces of Nigeria. However, the Nigerian army has revealed in a tweet that the soldiers in the video have been arrested at 9 Brigade Ikeja Military Cantonment. General Denny, sir, the soldiers are not running. The three battalions are standing and fighting, though we have casualties. The intelligence assessment concerning the Timbuktu Triangle is very wrong, sir. Since yesterday, we have been met by very strong resistance, more than pockets of Boko Haram. This morning, from every flank, not less than 15 gun trucks are facing us. These people have fired more than 100 RPG at us. The news that Major General O.G. Adeniyi has been redeployed from Headquarters Theater Command Operation Lafia Dole Medruguri to the Nigerian Army Resource Center as Senior Research Fellow was greeted with mixed reactions. Some said it was a tit for tat approach, and the video of him giving situation report from the battlefield was said to have infuriated the military's hierarchy, which thus infirmed the decision to relieve him of his position. But the coordinator of the defense media operations gave a contrary view. It is an administrative procedure, it is routine, and posting is a regular process at our military secretary's departments of the armed forces. I, have, I, I, I want to stress that. It is nothing, you know, uh, the way you presented it. In support of the COVID-19 efforts, the military says it is operating at full capacity with its liquefied oxygen at 103 strike group at the Air Force Base in Yola. The military reaffirmed that it will ensure 24 hours operations to ensure uninterrupted production of pure liquefied oxygen. I wish to state that we have provided an additional isolation and treatment center located at the Nigeria Navy Reference Hospital, Navy Town Ojo in Lagos, bringing the number of our centers to 18. In the same vein, the training of 80 medical personnel, active medical personnel of the armed forces of Nigeria to manage COVID-19 cases has since commenced. The gallant troops of 26 Brigade Garrison of our land component of Operation Lafia Dole on the 28th of March they had credible intelligence that a long route Boza to Polka. They succeeded in conducting a robust clearance offensive operation. And the operation led to conducting a robust action that led to the neutralization of one Boko Haram terrorist as well as recovery of one magazine with 12 fabricated rounds.